Hey guys, Ratchet Reviews here with another G1 Transformers video review. This time I am reviewing Hot Rod, or Rodimus Prime. Now this is the uh, Hasbro reissue. I think it came in Hasbro reissue box. I don't really know the differences between the Hasbro and Takara versions, but this is the reissue version. And... As you can see, or you can't see because my camera's out of focus. That is very bright light. So we're gonna... I didn't test before, so I'm trying to... There, wait, no. Come on, focus. There you go. So, there's Hot Rod, or Rodimus, I mean. In his Winnebago mode. And the nice flames with the smokestacks right there. And uh, here he is by his original counterpart, the Hot Rod Car. And look really nice side by side. And this damn light. Seriously. Yep, too bright. Um, let's just shut it off. Now it's too dark. That's perfect. I guess it's gonna it's not gonna get better, so yeah, let's put him off to the side. This is for Rodimus. And uh yeah, he rolls really well. And overall a nice very nice toy. And it's out of focus again. I got a stupid camera. Uh there's an Autobot symbol right there. Rub symbol right there, which my finger is too fat to fit in, and uh, another Autobot symbol on the hood. And now for the transformation, what you're gonna do is you're gonna separate this piece. We're gonna put that off to the side. This is the piece that's gonna form the Rodimus robot. You're gonna pull out the front, take off the spoiler, flip out the feet. Um, stand him up, pull his arms out, pull the front back, get back around here, and now there's this peg that, this peg shows up, so now, that's where we put the spoiler in now, and we pop up the head, and close down the body, and there's Rodimus, now his, his, uh, robot mode isn't very good, it's tall. Very tall. Um, here he is next to Optimus Prime. That's... Yeah, as you can see, Optimus is dwarfed by him. And, uh... uh here he is standing next to Rodimus. Or the original hot rod in a second. There we go. Or have hot rod fall. Now there's hot rod and Rodimus. Which Rodimus looks really nice for being so weird. I mean, it's just he's tall and he's older looking. See, his face just looks. Yeah, you you guys see what I mean now. And uh, his for posability, his arms move. They rotate 360. That's it. There's no knee joints. There's no hip. No. I guess if you want, you can have him look down, but no point. Um, here he is with his photon eliminator. I just love the name of that gun. Just plug that in. Now that's a big gun. We're gonna set we're we're gonna set him off to the side. Now the trailer part that we took off earlier. That's gonna separate. And it's already starting to look like Optimus's combat deck. Or Ratchet and Ironhide's trailer bit. And now you just take this bit, fold it out, pull the this piece up all the way, 
and straighten out the guns. Then you take these two pieces and put them on. Just they just clip on right there, and that's it. Now there's Ratchet's or uh, Rodimus's Ratchet Mobile, and uh, you can just stand right ra Rodimus. Wow, I'm getting all confused up now. And it rolls with him on it still. Whoa! And the turret rotates up, rotates down, rotates around. And that's about it. Yeah. And, um, yeah, that's all else I've got to say about Rodimus. He's rather tall figure. If, you, if you've got to get you uh, yourself a, one of these G1 figures, if you have to choose between Rodimus or Hot Rod, I'd go for Hot Rod first. Because Hot Rod is the better of the two, I think. I really do like Hot Rod. He's got a more difficult transformation. He's at least got more pose. Never mind. He doesn't have more pose ability. Just that. Compared to that. And, um, yeah. So, yeah, I'd get Hot Rod because he just looks overall better. He looks more cartoon accurate. He doesn't have the constipated Buddha face that Hot, that Rodimus has. So, yeah. So, yeah, Ratchet Reviews. I hope you guys like this video review, and I will see you guys later.